Hey, it's Ike with Big Tech's Ordnance here with Brent from Huxworks. Hey guys. Um, today we're talking about their Ventum 7.62 cam. So what you got for us? So we came out with the Ventum 762 to be a hub compatible 30 cal can. Still flow through design technology, still 3D printed technology at a more affordable price point for people that are wanting to you know, start their entry into flow through technology, but maybe have already married a certain muzzle device brand. You know, you find a lot of people, especially with the pistol brace laws changing, people do a lot more pin and welds, 13.7s, 13.9s, 14.5s. There's a cost of unpinning and welding to change brands, right? So we thought, well, let's have a flow through can that has hub adaptability on the back end. So what, what muzzle devices will it work with, or what, I guess what hub adapters are out there? So any of the Bravo thread hubs. So we've got on the table a rugged, there's a Reardon, there's our hub on the end that we'll be coming out with end of October. Also with ASR, Plan B, Xeno, Chemo, all those. So pretty much anybody Basically market, everything. It'll, yeah, it'll work with pretty much all of them. Yeah. Very cool. What can you tell us about like the baffle stack and the core on the, uh, the Ventum? So this is a 3D printed grade five titanium core. It has been optimized to work with all the different muzzle devices instead of just ours, right? We had to make some changes to it. In doing so, you know, everybody rates their product of good, better, best. Uh, we would say that the Flow 762 tie is our best 30 cal can. This would be our, our better. So it doesn't flow quite as much as the Flow 762 tie due to optimizing, like I said, for all the different muzzle devices. But it does have a removable core, which is, is new for us on the, on the rifle side. And I wanna make a, a, a note for people, all the customers watching, when you look at this suppressor, the core for this suppressor, you'll notice there is an indication on here that has a bullet direction and an arrow. So make sure whenever you put your core back in your can, you put it in feet first. Yeah. Gotcha. A lot of people don't know that, so. Yeah, I put it in wrong earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Very cool. What's the uh, what's the overall length in regard in relation to like a 762 um, 760 tie? So 6.7 inches long, 1.8 diameter, and it is right at about 15 ounces with the direct thread in the back end, which is what it ships with out of the box. Gotcha. Yeah. And what about um, like weight compared to like a 556 five, can? It's a little bit heavier, depending on obviously what brand. Looking at ours, it's a little bit longer than our our Flow 556K, five, five, obviously being a, a 30 cal can. It's a little bit heavier, but not by much. Now the difference is obviously 3D printed one piece, 17.4 stainless with our muzzle device only. So this being a multi-piece can that you can remove the core out of and changing hubs in the back end. There are some, you know, some changes you have to make and, and it's like always a give and take with something. So this has a little bit more weight to it than the dedicated 556 can or the dedicated 3D printed 762 tie. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Yeah, of course. And, uh, for giving us the rundown on it. Sure. Um, appreciate y'all watching and we will see you next time. Thanks guys.